We're getting a freaking eel for the fish tank, guys. All the new cichlids we transferred from that same tank are doing amazing. I got them. They're so crazy. Where'd it go? Yes! Ah! I got them. BFP Nation, welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're starting off the video in Bruiser's Pond because there's something in this pond that we need to get out and move into my new planted tank inside the 125 gallon. Now, when we took all those cichlids out, we put them into the new pond, and now we had an empty tank. And I asked you guys what you wanted to see in it, and you said you wanted a planted tank with a bunch of colorful community of fish that we catch in the wild. So I went ahead and I did that. The tank is now planted. There's plants everywhere. We're gonna show you that in a second, but we got these Farlowella catfish, I think they're called. We caught them in a creek. We didn't know what they were. You guys had to tell us. And we put them in here. Oh, there's one, there's one literally right there. Dude, it blends in with the sticks so much. And I, yeah, I really wanna bring them into the tank cause they would look amazing in the tank. Where did he just go? Oh, there he is. We're gonna start the video off by getting these guys in there, hopefully. I don't know how quick they are. Is that the other one? I think I see both right now, guys. They blend in with these sticks so much. Oh, I got him, I got him. Yes, that was easy. There we go, we got one of them. There he is right there. They're so crazy. Wow, he's so much darker now that he's in the pond. That is so cool, guys. Look at that. That is called a Farlowello catfish, I think. We're gonna go bring him into the 125 gallon. All right, guys, big reveal, planted tank, three, Two, one, look at this thing, dude. This is so cool. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is my first ever time uh, planting a tank or, you know, scaping it like that, I have live plants in here. And I kind of just went with the flow and I think it looks so good. Like, I'm really happy with how it came out and it's not even done. We still are gonna put more plants in here. I just gotta go to the fish store and get some more. But yeah, guys, here we go. Farlowella catfish, he's gonna look so cool in here. There he goes. Oh my God, dude, it's so cool now seeing him in a tank. Look at him. See, he's got that little piece of driftwood there. They love wood, you guys told me. So he's probably just gonna, oh yeah, he's just gonna sit there. They don't really do much, I don't think, but I think it'll be really cool to have him in here, come up and see him just chilling on the wood and whatnot. But yeah, guys, little tank tour. Uh, what I did was I kind of wanted to make it two levels, like in the back, kind of have it up higher. So what I did was I had gravel here, got that rock, put more gravel up there, kind of created a second layer. And we got everything in here. We got live plants. We got wood, we have flat rocks, we have round rocks, we have stones. I kind of just wanted it like a you know mixture of everything. And yeah guys, wait till we put fish in here. It's going to look so sick. Oh, there's the Farlowella catfish. He's going up there. Oh my God, he just went crazy. There he is, there he is. Oh, he looks so sick. Whoa, look at him. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> They're not very good swimmers, are they? There he is. Look how cool that is, guys. Yeah, there's the shot from the side. Now. That big plant right there, I actually found that in a creek. I don't even know what it's called, but it looks really cool there. These guys I think are called Amazon, Amazon swords, I think. I just picked those up and then we got three of these guys, uh, little pieces of driftwood with plants on them, all live plants, uh, more of these guys right here. And then these, I think they're like some sort of fern. We just picked those up, but I really wanna get some more big plants have up there and of course you know these plants will grow they are live plants so yeah guys let me know what you think of the tank it's obviously you know not 100 percent done yet but i think i did pretty good this is my first ever planted tank and yeah first little fish in there there's the father well catfish we have another one in the pond actually we're gonna go check and see if we can get him real quick but if not uh we'll get him another day all right i think i saw the other one over here i honestly can't even tell they look just like these sticks dude they blend in so well but that was definitely him because i don't see it anymore no, I don't see him. So yeah, guys, I don't see the second catfish. Uh, so we're just gonna have to get him another day. But yeah, today's video, what you all clicked for, we're getting a freaking eel for the fish tank, guys. I'm not even kidding, an eel. Bree just went like, what, an eel? I have to deal with an eel today? Yes, when I escaped that tank, when it was all said and done, I was looking at it and I was picturing fishing it. And I, and I pictured the eel, that fire eel that we caught in the creek. We put it in the signal pond because I had nowhere else to put it. I was just imagining that eel in there and it would look so sick. And I think there's no way of me catching it out of the cichlid pond. I'm just gonna have to go catch another one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to that same creek and give it another shot because 
there's no shot that we're gonna be able to catch the one from the cichlid pond. Let's head over there now and show you guys what I'm talking about. There's literally no way we're gonna find that eel, not until he gets like three foot. So yeah, guys, this pond is where we have the fire eel now. And as you can tell by all the rocks and how big the pond is, there's absolutely no way we're gonna be able to catch this thing out and bring him into the tank. So our only shot at getting a fire eel in the tank is just to go out and catch a new one. But as you can tell, here we go. We got the sun shining on the pond. All the new cichlids we transferred from that same tank are doing amazing look at the colors oh my gosh dude the pond looks so sick i just love this so much dude i love these fish i could just sit out here all day and just look at these fish I, it's so cool they are all loving the pond they got such a big space now they're so happy so yeah i have a feeling we're gonna see this fire eel in here like when it's three feet long and it comes out one day and i'm just gonna be like oh my gosh but yeah i really want one in my tank sadly can't net this guy out because i don't know where he is so we got to go out and we got to catch a new one okay guys we're here at the canal we get our fish chips check it out this is where we caught that eel i was a little further down actually down by that grass and dude i'm seeing so many fish right now there's no current in the water as you could tell the water's not moving fast at all so all the fish are back we got african cichlids everywhere freaking sick dude there's so many fish down here okay so we got our bait right there okay everything everything loves fish so we're gonna come down here where we where we caught the last eel because you know if it ain't broke don't fix it we're gonna place the trap in the same spot i, I have a feeling there's an eel under that that looks like a fire eel's home right there we're gonna open this one up here we go guys all right there we go first trap is ready here we go i think there should be an eel under that if i was to guess you know that's where i would think an eel would be we're gonna place one of the traps down there might have to go swimming for it later. Let's try not to. Nope. Oh, yeah. There we go. And now we got the rope right here, too, so we don't lose it. Now, this is our new trap, the umbrella trap. Look at that. I think we should place this. Dude, that looks so good. That looks like eel territory right there. If you ask me, that's where the eels are. So let's put the put the bait in right there. Here we go, guys. I'm going to have to go swimming for this because this one doesn't have a long rope. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you saw that? It was a Jesus lizard. No. Oh. Uh. Ah! Ow! I sink! Eh. Sink. Oh, wait, this does have a long rope. What am I, what am I doing? I didn't realize it had a long rope. It does. All right, well, it's down there. That's a good spot. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Let's get out before the gator eats me. Ah! All right, you guys, both traps are set. I think they're both in really good spots. We got one right there, the umbrella one, and then we got the second one over there under this grass mat. Now it's a little later in the day. We're gonna give this about two hours. We're gonna come back once it you know, starts to get darker or whatever. And yeah, we're gonna let the traps marinate. They're gonna smell that tilapia. All the fish are gonna go in. Hopefully we get ourselves a nice little fire y'all to put into our new planted tank, you guys. I'll see you in a couple hours. All right, you guys, we are here at the canal. It's about two hours later. It's actually starting to rain now. There's not even a cloud and it's raining. It's weird. We're going to hurry up and get these traps. Oh, wait. There's a trap right here. we got to get some water. i got a net just in case. Oh, this is so steep. Oh, God. Don't be a baby. Oh, God. I got it. I got the water. Here we go, guys. First trap. We're going to check it out. You need a fire eel. Come on. I have faith in this one, dude. Oh, you're so almost. We got fish. Okay, we got a lot of fish. A lot of cichlids, it looks like. I don't see an eel. Why don't I see any eels? Come on. Please, please, please let there be an eel in here. Dude. There's African cichlids there. Giant tilapia. I'll oh, no. you back. I don't see. Dang it, dude. No eels. Shoot. Boy, right, watch your chance. profanity. Hey, we got another chance. Look at that. Look how cute these guys are. Those are those are African cichlids. Oh, this one's really pretty. Look how pretty. That's gorgeous, dude. See? See, now that the uh, the flood isn't here, you know, the water's calmed down a bit, these African cichlids are coming out. Look at that. Beautiful. Not an eel, though. So I kind of don't want them. That's it. Let's check the other trap. Come on, dude, please. I have to get one. All right, I can see the trap right there. Ooh, breathe. Breathe. Zoom in. Oh my god, zoom in! Zoom in right now. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Zoom in where? Zoom in onto the trap. I don't see the trap. No, 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 the, the freaking eel is in there. See it? I think so. Oh my gosh, guys, we have an eel. 
I see him squirming around, bro. We have one. You guys gotta see this. This is so crazy. Look at this. He's literally trying to get out right now. Look at him right there. Oh my god, Bree. Wait, wait, wait. That could be a dojo loach. That could be a dojo loach. It actually looks like a loach instead. I'll go get it. I don't want a loach. That looks like a loach. I want my fire eel. Please. Where'd it go? Yes! Oh. I got a little excited there, guys. This is, you know, I listen, I get excited when I catch a cool fish. Look at that. You see that? Look at we caught a fire eel. Wait, I can't see. Where is it? It's right there. We got a freaking fire eel, dude. It's a perfect size, too. It's smaller than the other one. It's a little baby eel. Look at this. Okay, I got to be careful not to draw them because these things are so slimy. Oh, God. Look, he's swimming backwards. Look at that! Yes! We freaking got an eel! Get your butt in the bucket. Yes, dude! Oh my gosh, look how sick that thing is. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get an arrow. Yes! Come here. Oh yeah. Look at him. We, oh my god, we caught so many cichlids this. This time we caught so many. Look at all those guys. Those are all females. That's a female. Here's a male right here. Yep. Was that a gator? Bree. That sounded like a gator right where I was. Look at that. This one got this one got like. It's something something just jumped yeah, in the water. Totally. So what could it have? Look, look, look. What is that? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Wait. I hold up. Oh my gosh. Those are baby snakeheads, I think. Those are baby snakeheads. Now, oh, please zoom in on that. I did. You seen that? That's like a million baby snakeheads, bro. A million? Yes. That is insane. Yo, I gotta catch them. No. Look at them, look at them, look at them. They're, go they're going crazy. That's the most snakeheads I've ever seen. That is the most snakeheads I've ever seen. Wait, I'm getting the cast net, bro. I'm casting this thing. <laughs> Same this still there? Yeah. You better hurry up. I'm trying. Like it's swimming away. <laughs> I got him. I freaking got him. I definitely got him. Oh no, the branch. <laughs> I got him. Oh my god, free. 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 I got so many. I what see a, a zero. What? Are you not seeing this? I caught so many, and that wasn't even that good of a cast. It's a poor fish. We're eradicating them. They're invasive, Bree. You're supposed to kill them. They're really bad. They're really bad. And if we're not careful, these things right here, snakeheads are gonna eradicate all my African cichlids, all my eels. We can't be having that. No, no. Look at those snakeheads. Look how pretty that one is. Look at the blue on that one, the green. Those are all snakeheads. Dude, we caught so many. That was not even a good cast because that tree got in the way. Look how sick this is. Little baby snakeheads, if you guys don't know, this is like the most invasive fish here in South Florida. They destroy everything. Really, really bad for the ecosystem and FWC really wants us to kill them, so I just got a bunch of babies. That's gonna help out the ecosystem a little bit. I mean, really not much because there was a million and we only caught like 20, but we're doing our part, you know? We're gonna put those in a bucket. We're probably actually gonna feed them to our fish because some of the fish like them, some don't. Back to the cool stuff. Check it out, Bree. Our eel is in the bucket and he's actually in the little, the little compartment thing here. You see that? Oh, look at him. Yo, it's so cool. I freaking love eels. He thinks he can escape right there. There he is. Look at him. He's so cute. It's like a perfect size eel, too. Okay, I'm going to try and pick him up for you guys. Come here, buddy. Let's show you off. This one's a lot easier to hold than the other one for some reason. Look at that. So sick, dude. So freaking sick. Now, what I understand is these things get like three feet long, like giant. When I caught them, I thought they would stay small, but you guys were like, no, those things get massive. So for now, we're going to put them into our 125 gallon planted tank and then once they get bigger, we'll throw them into one of our ponds. That's so sick. Now we have two fire eels in our fish collection, both caught from this canal. If you guys want us to come back, maybe do an overnight challenge. I think an overnight challenge would catch so many of these eels. Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see that. Bree, what do you say? Let's go back home. I say let's go home. Let's go home and let's get this eel into the tank. All right, you guys, we have the eel in there. He's down there. We got him drip acclimating 
to the tank right now. There's the tank, dude. Every time I look at it, it is so cool. I just love the plants. Oh, there's our Falloella catfish right there. He's sucking on the plant right there. He's loving it. That's good. Oh, I can't wait to get this eel in here. He's going to look so cool, dude. Just imagine him going through all this and exploring it all. Once this guy's acclimated, we're going to get him into the tank. Okay, guys, the time is now. Where we're going to put our eel into the tank. Guys, I actually tried to catch one of these eels yesterday. I went there with a fish trap and I did not get one and I was getting a little sad. I was getting a little worried because I really wanted one for this tank. And today we finally got one and he's actually the perfect size. Hi, crew. <laughs> he's got a toy. I got him. There we go. Look at that thing. Such a cool creature right there. Oh, that is so cool. All right, here we go. And you go, oh, my God. Oh my gosh. It is so sick. Oh my God. That is so cool. That's exactly why. That is why right there, you guys, why I wanted one for this tank. He looks so cool in here. Oh my gosh. Way cooler than having him in a pond. You'd never see him in the pond, but right there, you could see him and he'll probably get used to us. Also right there, you could see I got a little cave under there for any fish that want to go in. So maybe he finds a home there. Also, uh, I put a lot of thought into escaping this thing. Like right here, this rock, you can see that they can actually go behind all those rocks back there. Those ones lined up. They, fish can actually go in and out of there as another little cave um, just to hide if they want to. There's our fire eel. Now, since he's in the tank, we're going to be seeing him a lot. I need you guys to go down there and comment a name for the fire eel. And the best name, I'm going to choose it and shout you guys out. So go comment a name. He's on the move. Oh, look at him. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Brendan, what do you think? Whoa. <laughs> that is so sick, dude. All right, guys, to end off this video, we're here at the Predator Pond. What's up, everyone? I saved a couple cichlids right here, and uh, we're going to feed them to the fish. It's not a full meal for him, but we get to see some action. Here we go. Maybe the peacock will eat. Throw it towards the peacock. Oh, I think that was Andy. Oh, peacock's alone. Get it. <gasps> yes! Let's go. The peacock ate. Oh, that is so sick. What's up, Brandy? I'm sorry. I'll get you some tilapia. Hey, Wayne. Oh, my gosh. Wayne's getting aggressive. Stop it. That was freaking sweet, dude. The peacock is eating. We got a fire eel in the tank. Today is a good day, you guys. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.